Welcome to Judy Brown Yoga and Meditation. Thank you so much for subscribing to my website. So this is going to be a 10 minute beginner yoga class. All you really need is some comfortable clothing and a yoga mat. And if you don't have a yoga mat, you can always use a large towel or a beach towel. So let's get started in easy pose. And this is just sitting on the mat with your legs crossed. Now, if this is not easy for you, you can always have your knees bent, feet flat on the mat, or you can straighten your legs. You choose because this is your practice. So coming into whatever position is most comfortable for you, and we're gonna have our hands on our knees, and we're gonna to start to do some deep belly breathing. In through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. So inhale and push the belly out. And when you exhale through the nostrils, push the belly in. So inhale, belly comes out. Exhale, belly is in. So now I'd like you to softly close your eyes and continue to awareness in to your breath and just slowing your breathing down which helps to slow your mind down and we're going to establish the breath we're going to use throughout the practice today beautiful one more deep breath in out, exhale, belly comes in. Wonderful. Now I'd like you to bring the bottoms of your feet together. We're coming into butterfly pose. And we're just going to start to rock back and forth. Wonderful. Don't forget to breathe. Full, deep belly breaths. Okay, let's come to center. I'm going to reach our arms up to the sky, shoulders are down. I'm gonna make sure that your sit bones are into the mat. Your sit bones are your ischium bones, your hip bones. So make yourself nice and comfortable because we're gonna come forward and down and I want you to hinge from the hips. Do not round your back or drop your head. This is a beautiful hip opener to help release tight hips, bringing your awareness in to your inner thigh and your hip flexors. Softly close your eyes, breathe. Nice, dropping your head, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, the neck is last to come. We're gonna come into reaching butterfly, I'd like you to reach your right arm up to the sky, really reach and then come forward and down. Remember, hinge from the hips. Do not drop the neck. Reaching up, forward and down. So we inhale, up, and exhale, down. So I'd like you to softly close your eyes and go with your breath. Pose. So come on your hands and your knees. 
So your hip is over your knee, and your knees are hip width apart. Shoulder is over the wrist. This is tabletop pose. This is a transition pose in yoga. So we're gonna now transition into child's pose. So widen your knees as much as you need to. That actually helps the lower back. And just sit back on your heels. Go down as far as is comfortable for you. If this is as far as you can go, that is perfectly fine. Coming down and forehead on the mat. Breathe. This is child's pose. This is a resting pose in yoga. You can always come here during the practice if a pose is not feeling right to you. Breathe full deep belly breaths in through the nostrils and out, eyes softly closed. Now we're going to come up, back up into tabletop, and we're going to bring our right foot forward in between our hands. Use your hand to help bring the foot forward so that it's right between your hand. And then we're going to curl our left toe under, and we're going to come into hand to foot pose. I want you to bend your knees as much as you need to to have your fingertips on the mat. The most important thing is that your knees are towards your chest. Okay, so you can grab your ankles or your calves. If you are very flexible in your hamstrings, be careful not to hyperextend. We want to protect our ligaments. Okay, we're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. And we're going to come hands to sky pose, relaxing the shoulders, looking up. Breathe, palms together, hands to heart pose. Beautiful. Now we're going to do a series of warrior poses. So come to the top of your mat. Feet are hip width apart, and we're going to bring our right leg back into a standing lunge. Knee is over the ankle. Right leg is back, and the foot is parallel to the end of the mat. Bring your hips towards the front of the room. I am strong and I am stable. I want you to check out your knee and if you can see the tips of your toes, you're probably in nice alignment. If you can see your whole foot, you need to come a little bit in, check it on the side if you need to. Knee is over the ankle. Beautiful. Arms up to the sky, shoulders are down. And we're looking up. You can look straight up if that's comfortable for you or you can look straight ahead. Engage the core, the abs, and the back. The Warrior Series helps to strengthen the legs and the core. Beautiful. Lengthen the arms as well. Breathe. One more breath. Okay, bring your right arm back, left arm forward, coming into Warrior Two. Relax the shoulders, keeping your nice strong legs in the lunge. Beautiful, engage the core. Sometimes we tend to push the belly out and we're breathing full deep belly breaths in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. One more breath here. Nice. Left arm up to the sky, palm facing the back of the room. Right arm comes down the right leg. And we're looking up. If you feel a little unbalanced, you can look forward. Just make sure that left arm is up to the sky. Always listen to your body. Ask yourself, how does it feel? If it doesn't feel right, come out of the pose. And then Come back in. One more breath here. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to bring the left arm just above the left knee. And we're going to bring the right arm, scoop it on over. And we're going to look straight forward or up. And you can have this arm straight or keep it 
grounded. Now the most important thing is that you're not leaning onto this leg. This is just resting here to help with your alignment. Engage your core, that's holding your upper body up. Beautiful, breathe, full deep belly breath. One more breath here. Okay, let's come up, back into two, and we're gonna walk our feet to the back of the room. And then we're gonna come into warrior foot one on this side. So remember, knee is over the ankle, hips towards the front of the room, arms up to the sky, shoulders down, looking forward or looking up. You choose. Breathe. Full deep belly breaths. One more breath here. Okay, right arm forward, left arm back. Relax the shoulders, warrior two. The gaze is at the fingertips. Knee is over the ankle. If you're feeling a little shaky, you need to straighten that knee, go right ahead. Listen to your body. And then just come back in. One more breath here. Beautiful. Right arm up to the sky, palm facing the back of the room. Left arm comes down with the left leg. Think I am strong, I am stable. Relax the shoulders, engage the core. Breathe. Beautiful. Let's come now into side angle. Right arm just above the right knee, engage the core. Left arm scoops over or straight. Look straight forward or look up. Beautiful. Breathe. Full deep belly breaths. One more breath. Very nice. Coming back up into two, straightening that leg, and then we're going to come into the top of our mat. Palms together, hands to heart. Wonderful. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me for this free 10 minute video and I'd like you to check out my other online video videos on the link below there's a lot of different poses uh, and sequences to help you start your day or energize your midday or relax you in the evening so thank you so much and we'll see you again. Namaste.